complicated? I mean, it's plenty complicated, but not in terms of mechanical components. No, nah, but electrical. Might be dissolved in plastic. I've done that before. It'd be glass, though, wouldn't it? Nope, that's plastic. I remember these things. It was before they had them. It definitely is. Yeah. It's, 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 <laughs> yep, you smell that? Oh, it doesn't smell safe for humans. Nope, no, it does not. Ooh. Oh, it smells very chemically. <laughs> that's like marker smell. I'm getting tingles. Yeah, but like bad. It's not like yeah. gasoline, you know? Yeah, like, this looks like they've hand taped it together, or at least taped it together. Um, an insulator pouch and then they've, they've taped around the tab so they don't short to the so that's uh, this could also be polymine it's hard to tell um taped to the tabs to keep them from shorting against the housing here you have a um your electrodes you've got one aluminum one and one copper one then the the in between is going to be a graphite coating yeah what's the gas it's emitting i forget the name it's it's um it's Those ions like bond with no, it was in the air. No, it's it's the electrolyte off gassing. So so you have only a tiny amount of lithium in here, and mostly it's it's shuttling between each the the anode and the cathode, while um, immersed in this electrolyte. Um, you can see here they make it out of a bunch of different layers. So I cut yeah. it off on this one, but you see, and then they just look at all those little guys. Yeah, they just put them all together. Yeah, they just. So it's just these pairs. Pair, 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 mm -hmm. pair. Yep. Combine them all. And then you ultrasonic or, or spot weld them either way. So. But yeah, uh, the, the electrolyte off gases. If, um, I wonder if they made this just for the nano. Probably. It's a very nice, <laughs> good fit. It's a very good fit. Either they either built it just for the nano, or they built the nano, the nano around for this. it. Yeah, <laughs> one way or the other. But batteries determine so much of design. It's like they clearly worked around it. I mean, yeah, in terms not, of sizing, not room to breathe. Available. So yeah, if, if you if you check the the order of one of these is always going to be the same. We, we can put this back together, by the way. Easy, <laughs> easy repair. Easy <laughs> um, so you've got your uh, aluminum layer with, a with graphite, graphite on the other side yeah graphite coating why is it honeycombed no clue don't know what, that, don't know what that's there for we'll use it to mark paper oh yeah very graphite -y. Mm -hmm. yeah and then i, I want to get through to some separators so we can take a look at that and then we'll put this back together <laughs> See what, i'm gonna put a pen up for our own safety we gotta do role models role models here we go Sounds good. I'll give you a headache and a half. <laughs> so, check it out. Oh, that's, that's better. So you can see here, you, what they do is they they, um, they lay it up by, they put down an electrode onto the separator, you see that plastic guy, and then they, um, they just zigzag the separator along. So if you peel it farther, just, oh, yeah. oh, I cut it right. from the edge. Yeah, it's just uh, you lay it, Jacob's lay it. Ladder style. Exactly. Accordion. And you just have a bunch of electrodes. And there's copper. There's like some copper on the edges there, weren't there? Yeah, yeah. The, the, the One of the electrodes is copper. So. Oh, so this is actually copper with just graphite over it? Yep. So there's a uh, chemical potential somewhere. Plastic spacer at the bottom here. Maybe it's. I really can't imagine what that does. I'm sure it's very necessary. <laughs> this looks annoying. Isn't that weird? Cool. Just like holding that tab. Or maybe it's for the battery to seat in. Just get a very specific ID. I mean, I can believe it's vibe isolation, but I don't know why they make that out of metal, so that's not it. Uh, it doesn't really want to come up. It's not really Faraday cage. We could take this whole thing out, but if we get these screws. Oh, is this bonded to it or something? Honestly, that one's just as good as this. I picked up one that's like $60. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Right. Well, it might work. You used the old Faraday, but I fixed it. Really? Yeah. They are the pros. They are. I don't think they ever give repairability a better than like two stars though. <laughs> Literally, all modern electronic devices are terrible to repair. One in the wrong era. Fixing stuff. We should just be thankful these have screws. See, if we were going to put it back together. <laughs> what do you mean? I'll put the battery back together. No problem. Yeah, well, question whether that works. Oh, this one there. That's kind of nice. Oh, you can magnetize any screwdriver. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think these are the tabs that got snapped off for <laughs> Yeah, probably. So usually they'll have like a little plastic latch. And so if you flip that guy. Nice. Unfortunately, one of my current repair projects, somebody didn't know that, and they just tore it off. And so, even though I fixed the rest of it, it's like, screaming cables toast. This one, that's yeah, robot work. So it knows. Is the audio jack? Is that detachable? No, that's not a good time. So that's strange. It's like one of the first things to fail. I guess a ribbon cable fails sooner or something. And there's your water damage. Ah. Mine is damaged. <laughs> Seems to be the case. 
It's a switch. Hmm? Switch. What's that for? It's not accessible from the outside. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's the lock screen? Screen lock? Yeah. Or something. Whatever that switch did. Yeah, do. Screen lock. Do not disturb. Interesting to see how it interfaces. Uh, yeah, just tell them. This is the number. Oh, have a shoulder. I just keep the dust out. Oh, that too, yeah. Does this plug have a open bag? <laughs> Easily repaired. Should be pretty easy, just. <laughs> yep, there we go. A lot of cables. Fox Link. Is that like before Foxconn? <laughs> no. This one looks like not a component. Which one? This thing is like an angle. Yeah, I saw that. I was wondering what that was. Is it easy, easily liberated? No. I thought it might be space. Oh, maybe it is. That one was a component. <laughs> <laughs> it's a magnet! What? No, I think that's just magnetic. This is probably a os uh, an oscillator to, to give you your clock. Um, but uh, the, the Apple brand things are maybe custom run processors. No. What is it? Uh, it could be a vibrator. Did th these iPods didn't have one, did they? Pretty sure not. I'm not sure why they would have. Unless they had, they didn't have like tactile click. So you're right. That could be. It looks like a plate. Oh, it's a beeper. That's what it is. Oh, it's making the sound by. Yeah. Check it out. There's a little. Co there's a little copper coil in there. These things magnet. beeped. They mu that must be it. Mu it must be a beeper. I bet you that's a little beeper. Um. It does have a magnet on a metal plate. And then, yeah, the copper coil. You know, I got Doom running on this thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In the um, school. Yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, I remember. I also had a, a text editor, um, on this. That you must could, have been hard. Yeah. You, you could like click a certain number of times on each, each bit. It's because ba this was back before jailbreaking. You could jailbreak your iPod Nanos, and nobody was really clamping down on it because there was no use to it, right? Like you weren't gonna like circumvent copyright regulations. You were just using it anyway. Right. So it hadn't voided the warrant. Yeah, or something. well, no, you know, they, it just wasn't uh, perceived as a criminal act back then. It was a hobbyist thing, and so uh, yeah, you could you could jailbreak it and, and put like Linux on it. Oh no, not separating it. Hey, like wedge this. Yeah. Not that there's gonna be anything interesting under there, but 